Specialissima is Bianchi's top of the line machine and perhaps the most beautiful bike money can buy. This bike comes in Bianchi's signature Celeste Green, but you can also buy the Specialissima in black if you'd like. Or you can use Bianchi's Tavoloza app to choose your own colour scheme. It weighs 6.6 kilograms, that's 14 and a half pounds, and costs 8,300 pounds. And Bianchi Specialissima is the climbing bike for the Lotto NL Yumbo World Tour team. Specialissima means very special in Italian. The name comes from the Bianchi, ridden in the 1950s by Fausto Coppi, and recalls Bianchi's racing heritage and its status as the oldest bike company in the world. The Specialissima's frame weighs just 780 grams and its fork 340 grams, putting it alongside one of the lightest bikes available. It comes with FSA's top K-Force carbon components and a San Marco carbon railed saddle. Decked out with Shimano's latest Durace R9100 mechanical group set, it comes with a 5236 semi-compact chain set and 1125 cassette. Although this gearing sounds high, the Specialissima's lightweight and stiff frame means that the bike leaps up steep gradients. If you think that an Italian bike needs an Italian group set, there's a Campagnolo super record version available too. As well as climbing well, the Specialissima is great on descents, with an agile ride that really lets you attack fast sections and steer precisely through the bends. Bianchi Specs Fulcrum Racing Zero Knight Black Alloy Wheels, although they look smart, they weigh just over 1500 grams. It would be nice to see a set of low profile carbon hoops to better complement the bike. But the graphene containing 25mm Vittoria Corsa tyres roll fast and are very comfortable. And the Specialissima has the countervail frame technology which Bianchi uses on all its top end bikes. This includes a layer of patented material that helps dampen road vibration and is also used on the Infinito CV endurance bike and all of the Ultra XR4 and XR3 aero bikes. But despite this, the Specialissima feels just a bit harsh on rougher road surfaces. It's great on smooth the tarmac, but left us a bit battered and tired after a long day's ride on typical UK back roads. So with its great looks and ride, the Specialissima is everything you'd expect from a superbike. If only it came with a slightly smarter wheelset and a bit more ride comfort, it would be the perfect bike.